Hey there, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to get started with the Clo plugin for Stage. Um, we're not going to focus on the details, but I'll just get it installed for you and then show you kind of how to use it a little bit. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take the zip file that you downloaded and extract it somewhere. Um, and that once you have that extracted, you go into Stage, or excuse me, Clo, go to User Settings, go to Clo API, go to Add That, and pick the DLL from that folder right there. Okay, and then it's going to bring up this little window here that says Register Plugin. You're going to leave everything the same. Hit OK, and now we're good to go. So we can close this. So now I'm going to go up to Settings, go to Plugin, go to Stage Plugin Beta, right here, and it's going to open up this other window over here. Now, this Stage Plugin window has a bunch of different options here. There's Open, Render, and Settings. In the Settings, I just want to make sure that my model export location is correct so that it uh, sends the GLB files to the right to the place that I want them to. The other thing is I want to log in. So if it says log in right here or if there's a big warning up top, like if I disconnect my right here, if I say cancel, um, then I what I need to do is hit login and then do my stage login. Like this. Okay. So now I've successfully logged in, okay? So now this will allow me to just go into open and I can pick my settings. I can choose whether or not I want it to be a GLTF file or a GLB file or export the avatar. I can also change the scale. Now, this is the scale that it needs to be to go correctly into stage. I, so this is open and I can just click on open in stage and what it's gonna do is it's gonna use from those settings this folder right here. It's gonna export to that folder and then open stage and open it. So I'm just gonna go back to open and say open in stage. Now it's going to export this model, and this is a pretty hefty model, so it takes a little bit to, a little bit of time to export. And once it's done exporting that model, it will then open up Stage, open the model, and then I can uh, work on it and manipulate it. So this takes just a second here. Stage is opening, and I'm going to move it over here so you can see it. So now it's opening this model, and it's going to go straight into here. So now I have this model all loaded into Stage, ready to go and it's bringing over all the PBR materials right so everything should be pretty pretty accurate if you set up your materials right in Clo, they come over uh, really nicely so that's how easy it is to get your data directly over into Clo, and then you can use um, stage to do all your batch rendering and your still rendering and creating animations and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna close stage now and I'm gonna show you the other things so if I go into um, plugin right here and go stage plugin beta it's going to open this up one more time. And the other thing that you can do is go to render. And in the render settings, now this is uh, this allows you to do two things. It allows you to export all of your colorways separately. Um, and it also allows you to render either locally or to the cloud using stage. Now, if you're on a PC, you can render locally right now um, if you're or the cloud. But if you're on Mac, you'll be picking cloud uh, to do that render. Okay. So we're just going to do local now because I'm a, on a PC, but normally if I had multiple colorways, they would all be listed here and I can pick the ones that I want um, or I can hit select all and it will select all of them. Then I can come down here and say, well, I want an image that is, let's do a custom image of like 1500 by 1500, like this. Um, I, I'm going to send them to this folder right here, so that's going to be my, my render output folder. Um, it happens to be the same folder that it's going to export the GLBs to. And then I can pick my scene. So I'm just going to pick the sweep like this, and I'm going to pick uh, three point lights. Okay, now I'm just going to say add still image. And I can go down here to my still render, and it will load all of my camera presets that I have in my account. But I just want right, front, back, and left. And I want to say don't include the avatar. I want it to auto frame. And I don't care about either of these, so I'm just going to leave them there. So now that I have this, I have a still render job available, and I'm going to say render batch. So what it's going to do. It's going to go through and export that model again. And then when it's done, it's going to open up stage and it's going to render front, back, left, right for me. Okay. So once again, depending on the amount of colorways that you have or the complexity of the garment, it might take a little bit longer uh, to export those and, and get them out. Uh, but usually it goes pretty fast. The latest versions of Clo are actually really good. So now you can see, loaded that, loaded the sweep, loaded my three-point light, and now it's uh, rendering front, back, left, and right. Okay, so it's all done. It closed down stage, and that was it. 
So now I can pull this over, and if I look at this, um, you can see here that uh, I've got four renders. Okay, we'll just do this so you can see them. There's my renders right there. These other files are the ones that it uses for um, uh, for telling Stage what to do. So this API JSON file, you don't need to worry about it. It just tells Stage what to do with the models that it exported. This is the model that I exported when I just clicked Open. And this is the model that I exported when I uh, did the batch render. They're the exact same model, but because I did them from different places, it named it differently. Named it differently. So I could, um, I can actually uh, double click these. I can, I can send these to somebody. These are perfectly good GLBs to use anywhere I want to. But as you can see, I've got my four renders and I'm good to go. So now um, you can do that with any of the other outfits. So that's just a real quick run through of how to use the Clo plugin for Stage.